Good morning, everybody. Usually, we identify the trees by looking at its morphological characters, like flowers, fruits, and then leaves. Once it is cut into made into log form, or it is in a uh, small size pieces, cut pieces, or in a finished product, it is difficult to identify. We have to identify in such cases. We have to identify the wood by looking at its uh, anatomical characters. When there is no leaves, flowers, fruits, traditionally all wood identification has been done using anatomical characters by microscopic level and, and in microscopic level. For that, what we have to uh, uh, need is for gross examination of the timber at site or field, we need sharp blade, holding hand lens, which is tannic magnification, small saw, a chisel, and a hammer. All these things we need because we have to make a small sample from that log or a piece of wood. When we make, uh, we, when we take a sample from the log or the, uh, wood, uh, we first we have to see the general features. First we see color. The outer light color zone we call it sapwood. Inner darker color portion we call it as hardwood. So when we are uh, uh, take, looking at the color, we have to see the hardwood color for identification. Then weight we have to see. For weight, we cannot take balance and weight. Just if you hold in our hands, we can just feel that whether it is light wood or a medium or heavy. Then hardness. Hardness, if we touch, uh, touch the wood with our fingernail, we can feel whether it is soft or medium or hard. Texture, it is on the cross surface. When we touch the wood, we can feel whether it is fine texture or coarse texture. Odor, we know some of the timbers, it is having odor. For example, teak, it is having old, uh, old leather smell. Uh, then uh, sandalwood, it is having its own characteristic smell. Then pine is having resinous smell. Devdar gives uh, a pungent smell. Then luster, luster is nothing but a reflection of light when it falls on the wood. Uh, then grain, we have to say, whether it is straight grain, spiral grain, like that. This is, these are the general features first we have to look. Then by studying anatomical features, we, we can identify what wood it is. In that, there are two types, microscopy. Microscopy means without using microscope, with the help of a blade and hand lens, by looking at its anatomical characters, we can identify some of the timbers. One more method is microscope, by looking at microscope, under microscope. For this, for this there is a lot of procedure. Uh, some of the timbers, when we look at them, we can just have an idea what wood it is. And fluorescent test also we do. For example, when we take a piece of pterocarpus marsus, marsupium bijasal and put it in water, it gives a yellowish brown color. And the top, it will give blue color, that is fluorescence. And when uh, for a uh, red sand test, uh, when you put it in water and boil it, uh, the same thing uh, as shown in the figure, it shows. Fluorescence it gives. For examination, we need one hand lens and blade. This hand lens, when we see under this, uh, whatever we are seeing with the naked eye, uh, it is 10 times enlarged. First, what we have to make is, we have to make a small size block for our convenience size, uh, where cross section that is end grain, there we, then we have to give a uh, cut, fine cut we have to give with the help of blade so that uh, when we are cutting the tissue should not be torn off. It should be very fine to expose the tissues. Once the tissues are exposed, uh, then we have to uh, see under hand lens. This is for microscopic observation. When we are uh, seeing uh, wood, uh, we have to see growth rings, we have to see uh, vessels, we have to see pattern, have to have uh, in vessels, pattern, we have to see their arrangement, we have to see the size we have to see. Then I, um, uh, when we are seeing parenchyma, we have to see type of parenchyma is distribution. Uh, when we look at the rays, we have to see whether it is a fine rays or broad rays. All the first, we have to see all these things. And then uh, if any characteristic, which is specific to the timber, means some diagnostic characters will be there, that we have to see. Almost all characters will be visible in cross section uh, for identification. In case of few timbers, uh, we have to see tangential side for ripple marks. For example, pterocarpus marsupium, all in uh, pterocarpus genus, 
all Dalbergia genus like that. A few timbers can be identified by looking at the uh, by lens. For microscopic identification, first we have to make a um, under under micro uh, hand lens. We have to see. Then we have to make a small block, perfect cross radial tangent shell. This we have to boil. Uh, it depends when we boil. Uh, if the wood is soft, uh, it take, it takes two days. It is very hard. Means it takes uh, ten to fifteen days. Uh, red sanders or uh, dalbergia uh, latifolia. It uh, very hard wood. Means it takes more time to boil. Then with the help of sliding microtome, we take sections, cross radial tangent shell. Then we observe this under microscope. We have um, uh, reference slides that we compare. Then we'll give the report. Here in photographs, you can see cross radial tangential sections. After taking um, staining, uh, this is how it looks. Coming so coming to woods, there are two types of wood. One is non-porous. Uh, non-porous means woods from conifers. Are, they are also called as softwoods. Porous wood. Porous wood means when they are from angiosperms, they are called hardwoods. If the pores are vessels absent, means non-porous. Pores present means porous. Uh, softwoods, they are needle-shaped trees. Whereas angiosperms are broad leaves. When we study uh, under lens or under microscope, this is how it looks. Non-porous means softwood without pores. First two photographs as shown in the uh, slides. And porous wood means pores present. In the third photograph, some openings are pores or vessels. You can see, no. If it is present, it is called as porous wood. Non-porous wood means absent of pores. Difference between porous and non-porous wood means in non-porous wood, pores are absent, fibers are absent. Uh, rays are present, it is fine. Parenchyma absent are poorly developed. Whereas in case of porous wood, pores are vessels present, parenchyma is present, fibers present, and rays are uh, present. This is three dimensional view of the wood showing cross radial and tangential surface. Where in the cross section you can see vessels, growth rings, rays, parenchyma, and fibers. Uh, in tangential section, uh, rays look like spindle shape. In radial section, uh, rays they look like ribbon like. See, this is uh, when a solid wood. Here also, you can see cross section vessels are there. Um, then in that, uh, rays also there. In tangential section, the rays are spindle shape, and in the radial, um, it is like a ribbon. This is solid wood. When we macerate this, uh, all wood elements they get separated. When they get separated, that whatever you are seeing, fibers, ways, they look like that. Mm. Whenever we are seeing a, a, any wood, first we have to see whether it is hardwood or softwood. When it first once it is confirmed it is hardwood, eh, then we have to see whether it is ring porous wood or diffuse porous wood. In ring porous wood, eh, every year one one ring will form. For example, teak, bentic, all those things. Uh, that uh, we are seeing one line here. No, that is early wood portion. From uh, gradually size of the vessels decreases from early wood to late wood. Next year again vessels become big size in the beginning of the year and gradually size decreases. This we call it as ring porous. Diffuse porous means almost all the vessels are same size. Even though growth ring is there, there is no differentiation of vessel size, and there is no early wood late wood pattern in diffuse porous woods. 